Yes, in this we are going to see an introduction to MySQL. So, what is a MySQL? It is a open source relational database management system, and we are going to use it along with the PHP. Okay, so for storing and the information and retrieval of information, so everything done with MySQL. So, first of all, what is a database? Database is a place where you can store data. Uh, it is a separate application that stores collection of data. So, in within a database, you can create many tables. Okay, related to that particular data. For example, if I am going to create a table database, within that I can create employee details, employee personal details as well as salary details. Like that, I can create tables, and all put together, I can call it as one database. Okay. So it's similar to your project, and then within that project, you create so many files related to that project. So a database is a one under which you create tables related to that database. And here we use the MySQL as a software. Uh, otherwise, you can call it as a, a relational database management system in which you create your own database, and within that you create your tables. So some of the few terminology related with the RDBMS. So a database is a collection of tables with related data. Table, a table is a matrix. So that is why it is called relational, a matrix, since we are representing the data in terms of a matrix. A row will be the records and column will be the attributes. So a table in a database looks like a simple spreadsheet. Column in the table. Column is nothing but attributes of the particular record. So row, otherwise you call it as tuple, and column you call it as domain. Then redundancy. So we have to avoid the redundancy. Uh, multiple storage of the same data should be avoided. Uh, primary key is nothing but a unique key which uniquely identifies each and every record. So for example, if we say the employee details, employee number will be unique because that number cannot be given to other people. If you say student record, his role number will be unique. That role number cannot be allocated to any other student. It is unique. Even if after 40 years, 50 years, his uh, role number will be unique to him only. So that's like that. Foreign key, uh, between two tables, uh, uh, it is a connection between two tables. So foreign key is the linking pin between two tables. And so these are the some of the things which you, you should know. And we'll see how to create a database and all those things in our MySQL. So now for that, you have to open your jump control panel. Then already you should have started this uh, Apache server and MySQL. Now, how to open a MySQL database from here? You press this admin so that it will open your MySQL database connectivity. So or else you can directly type it like this, localhost. In, under the browser, you have to type localhost, PHP my admin. That also will take you to this. Uh, screen or uh, this page. Now we are going to create a new database. So how to create a new database? Now you can press this. See there are uh, here, you press this and now it will open up uh, this window where you can create your own database. These are all the existing database, but we are not going to touch all these things. We are going to create our own database. Let us give the name as student. Okay, we are going to create a new database called student. Under that, we are going to create many tables related to this. But the name of the database is student DB. Let me give student DB in order for me to identify. Now I just give create. So it has been created. Now we take to you the next page where you will be asked to create table. Now we'll create the table. Either you can create table now itself or later also you can create. Let me create a table. So here it is in the create table. Now I have to give the name for the create table. So student, let me give it as personal. Uh, student, 
personal details. So I let me give it as student personal. And here initially it will be four columns. If I accept that, it will create four columns or I can create more also or less also. So time being, I create only, uh, I change it as to number of columns is two. And go. Now this will take you to this page where you enter the table name. Okay, now we have to create the column attributes for this table. So let us make ST name, a student name. And student name, let me make this is Varkar. So Varkar is used for entering the string as well as the numerical Varkar. But that will be considered only as a string when you enter any data in this. So we enter this. So these are all the some of the other uh, data types. But normally we select Varkar for any string information, string data. Now, uh, student name. Now, uh, let me give roll number as a second column. Let it be integer or you can make that also to be Varkar. Now, time being, I'll take it as integer. Now, we have to give the length of the how, how, how many characters you can type. So, that you have to do. Give. So let me take a student name to be of minimum 25. Okay. So, uh, sorry, maximum of 25. So from, you can enter up to 25 characters. And if you want to change, you can give more also. Then roll number. This, let me give from um, 5. Integer. And it is to be of 5. Up to 5 you can give. So... See here, uh, below the null index, you can make a key to be a primary key, uh, a variable to be a primary key. First column is a student name. I don't want student name to be a primary key because if there is a person called Anita, another person also will be the same name, Anita. Even the initial may also be the same. So not to, always roll number will be a unique key. So let me select the roll number to be, this is to avoid duplication. If I don't make this, if I enter a person name and with this roll number, again, I will be able to enter another person name with the same roll number. <clears throat> then the concept of unique is uh, not achieved. <coughs> so let me make this roll number to be a primary key. So, okay, I'm being, we'll save this. So all this data has been given. Now it is this go. It has added one more column. Uh, so here if I can add mark. This I have add mark and we can have three three as a maximum. Now I save this. Okay. So there are two columns. This student name, roll number and mark. Now if I want to change the column name, I can change it. Roll number I can change. I can, or if I don't want this mark at all, I can drop it. That is, I can remove that mark column. Itself. Now we are going to add data. So how to add data? So by using insert command. So now I'm just pressing insert. Now it will show me uh, each record. So here I can enter the data. Let me say Anita, then roll number. And since it is an integer, so let me have 100. I can have maximum of five characters. Here this I give 100. Then some mark nine. Then I may want to enter more data. So Anita, Ashwin, let me enter. Then if I give the same roll number, this is what I said. Now we'll see what error it is giving. Okay. 
हो तो इसको दी डुप्लीकेट एंट्री तो ये रिजल्ट इट इस गिवी डुप्लीकेट एंट्री तो नाउ व्हाट वी हैव टू डू ओके वाई हैव टू एडिट दिस बस लेट मी एडिट इट एस ऑफ नॉट वन देन आई गिव गो नाउ इट सेव्स So now I want to see uh, the data which I have entered in the database. For this, either I can go for browse or I can use a select query. See here, automatically it put. If I want more, I can give. select start from to do this from student person. I execute this query. See the data it has given here. Now, two total two days are show up. See here, it is showing me the data. Anita hundred and this. If I want to edit this value, I can edit here. If I want to copy and Put it as another row that can be done. Provided the row number has to be changed. Okay, so here I can go to browse also. You can see as well as the using SQL query. Okay, now our database is ready and we have created a table called student personal. Okay, student DB is the. If you see in the left hand side, you can see student DB is the uh, database name. The student personal is the table name. Now we are going to check whether uh, how to connect this. We are going to see how to connect this student database from the PHP script. Okay, so for that we will open a notepad. And now I am going to start writing the code. PHP, then. user name i have to type what is the user is root okay for mysql the user name is root and password is no password so it's empty space so you have to open this quotes immediately the next to closing quote which means there is no password Even if you leave one space, that will be considered as a password. And since that password is not existing, it will give you error. So by default, whenever you create a MySQL, uh, the user name is your root, and there will be no password. So the next one is database name. Uh, now, like, uh, what is the database name we have created? Student DB. But you see, I just increase the font. So here, student DB. Now we have to create. Uh, we have to give the command so that uh, the MySQL is connected in the so uh, MySQL uh, the PHP script uh, connected to the database and extract data. But first, we will check for connection. So. First argument will be the local host. That is the server name. Anyway, here we are executing for the local host, so I'm giving that. Second argument is user, and the third argument is the password, and the fourth argument will be the DB. So, 
if it succeed it will return true it will open and it will succeed true or else it has to post me the error that it is not connected so i want to know whether it is connected with the database or not so db not connected so database okay now if it is connected i would like to have a successful information connected now i want this information so what uh, what happened here is if it is connected only the next line will be executed or else this die option that is this exception will be executed so it will not go to this line at all so which means if this were uh, this is success then this echo will be executed now we will see how it gets executed whether it is connected or not. already we have created in our mysql database uh, the database and uh, table also we have created but first we will check whether uh, database connectivity is happening so let me give the name db connect like one dot php okay now we are going to execute this local host this on quarter all to undefined function to so, give some error in this we'll see what it is any sql i This is this. I have left this new. So new is to create a new instance of this MySQL. Right? So this is what the command to connect to the database. So new MySQL. Right? Then you give four arguments. The first is the server name. So now we are using localhost. So we use localhost, and there's the user, password, and then the database. Then if it is not connected, we give the exception. So die means it will stop. So it will not execute further. So database not connected will come. Else connected successfully. We'll see the execution part. See here. Now it works. Now suppose uh, I have I'm writing a database which is not at all there. Is I have not created a database by name student. Now we'll see how it works. is unknown database student that is uh, it is not connected so it will post me the error so this is how you connected to the database 